All right. Wow, do I have a treat today. I think out of all the houses, I've uh, got a chance to photograph and take pictures of. This one right here, most definitely, it's like, whoa. It's a uh, mini mansion as well as two other proper properties attached to it. So let's go. Wrap around driveway. We'll start with the smallest structure on the right. Huge, huge, huge property. Minutes from downtown Macon. This is the first property here on the property. Very nicely maintained and well kept. Has a tenant, so please do not disturb. And as we're just filming and taking video, we already have people driving by asking about the property. Wow. Nice backyard, it's the main house. Little shed. Usually I'm in and out, but this one actually put me to work today. Doing all three. This is the second house on the property. Nice little uh, two one that definitely could be used as an Airbnb alone. already been somewhat rehabbed so that's a positive and it's already been halfway rehabbed so not a lot of work needs to be done in here 
She wanted to do central heating air again, I guess. Electricals, everything's already good. Water, everything. Yep, wash and dryer hookups. I already has a dishwasher, so you don't have to worry about that. Brand new marble countertop. Head out to the main attraction of this video today. This here are uh, six bedrooms, four baths with a ton, I mean a ton of a uh, Space and storage and dens and secret little crevices everywhere. This is a Victorian house. That was built uh, in the early 20s, so it's over 100 years old. But it's been well kept somewhat over the years, so that's a great thing. We'll walk one more time on the outside, then to the inside. These walls, huge living room, dining space. Well, more so living room, definitely. Probably not a dining space because there's so many others of those. 
great fireplace. Awesome. When I first came in the house, this spooked me the freak out. Beautiful painting, but whoa. I'm a black guy from the South who watched a lot of horror movies, so please forgive me. <laughs> All right. Great bookcase, though. Or shelving for other uh, figurines. Wow. And this can close up as well, with the doors and stuff, get back. Alrighty, another fireplace. And you'll notice that every room has its own fireplace, so. Very well kept, so now it just really needs a uh, little TLC to bring it back, you know. My mindset was set on Airbnb, but hey, to each to their own. This room, when you open the blinds, can provide a lot of sunlight. Already. All right. Again, another great space. Couldn't figure out where this goes, though. Lock, so we're not going to bother with that. Nice size kitchen. Definitely could need some remodeling, of course. A lot of cabin space. And I'm assuming that's the back door to under the carport or so. Another kitchen area here. Or storage pantry. Room is huge though. Told myself when I first walked in the house, I wasn't good. Well, let's do this first. Another bath. I'm sorry if it's dark. This is another bath under the stairs. All right. And here we go again with another huge room. It's funny some of the motivation these builders had when they was building these houses. Wow. That's all I can say. All right. I told myself I wasn't going to do this, but curiosity killed the cat. So hopefully I have nine lives. Oh my God. Down in a dungeon or whatever this thingy is. God, we're gonna track down here, ladies and gentlemen. This is a dungeon. Ugh. Wow. I don't even know what this space is. It's under the house. Whole nother space. But I guess extra storage or whatever the case may be. So, hey. It is what it is. 
definitely won't want my kids playing hide and go seek down there. Oh, there's a light. I have my assistant with me, helping me. Wow, okay, so the light does work down here. But you got a chance to see the hot water tank is not that old. It's in good condition, so that's a positive. I guess I'll grab some more picks down here when I um come back through. Alrighty. Let's tour upstairs, ladies and gentlemen. we get here, I'll be honest with you, I don't know which way to go. Let's take a left, I guess. Another space, a cool sunroom. Wow. Another huge room. They were very creative when they built these old houses. Let's get an example of the closet space. This is just a hall closet. Normally hall closets are about half this size, or no, one third of these this size in houses now. Hardwood floors all the way throughout too. All right, we took a trip to the right again. Another bathroom. I know some people may have a problem with some of this porcelain, but believe it or not, I would keep some of it in certain areas in the house just to continue that nostalgic look. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Vaulted ceilings as well, probably about uh, 10 foot ceilings are higher in certain places in the house. If you all see the lady in the black, that's not a ghost. That's Sharada. Right. Of course, you probably would get rid of it, but the wallpaper is so dope to me. Wow. And again, as we said, a lot of closet space, hardwood floors all the way throughout, and fireplaces in every room. Whew. Wow. 
These old Victorian houses are just mazes. Well, alrighty. I'm quite sure there's still other little hidden gems that we haven't explored because the property is so big. That's where that door is locked. So we could just open it to get up these stairs. This is another set of winding stairs. All right, ladies, gentlemen, investors, if you're looking to buy or sell a house in the middle Georgia area or need pictures or videos, please contact 478-239, 478-239 in the middle Georgia area, and we are out.